Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today we're going to introduce a new material to you. Well, it's not a new material entirely. It's new to us in the United States. Now, for many, many years, we have been using a material called 4130 chromoly, and it's been a staple in, in the racing industry, uh, tubular products. It gives us great strength to weight ratio. So this has been probably one of the top materials for our fabrication needs for well over 50 years. There's also several other materials trying to come into the United States and very few of them ever make it. Uh, so this one material I'm going to introduce you to, this new material, has uh, kind of passed the test of time. Uh, it was introduced to me about five years ago. So um, I, I never give it 100% uh, thumbs up until I've gone through all the testing on it. But this has met the preliminaries. Uh, this material is called Docol R8. And it may not mean much to you because it, it looks like steel, it smells like steel. Uh, we're going to show you how it wells today. But uh, we're going to do a series, and there's going to be several series throughout the years. So this is the beginning phase of it, and uh, we'll share with you what we find with the material. So today, all we're going to do is, in part one, is it's going to be, you know, how does it fit up? How does it tack? How does it weld? Is there any peculiarities to it? So I'm going to go ahead and put my gear on. Uh, I'm going to tack this thing up and weld it, and then I'm going to share with you what I see. Okay, I've already welded the sides up, so uh, I'm just doing kind of an up and over ramp around using uh, the TIG process. Tungsten size is still 1 16th. I think the wall thickness on here is about 083. I'm using uh, probably 70 to 80 amps, depending on what part of this wraparound I'm at. Filler material, I'm using the ER80SD2, which is the same thing that we use for 4130 chromoly. It wells really clean, it wets out very nicely. Okay, I'm doing one of the final wells on here. I'm doing this with the DC straight polarity. My uh, filler material is just 045 diameter. And and you, you can pretty well choose the diameter that you like best. Running argon. I'm at about uh, 15 to 17 CFH of argon. It wells really clean. Okay, uh, I'm just going to do a recap on this. It welded very, very good, very clean. I didn't see a lot of, uh, I, I, it's a technical term, I didn't see a lot of floaties or contaminants coming out of the metal itself, but it wetted out very, very nicely. I used ERADS-D2, and that was, a, that was a recommendation that was given to me, and that's exactly what I use on, on most race cars, or race car frames or go-karts or things like that. Um, I was using the DC negative. Make sure you put it DC minus. Uh, wall thickness, again, one amp per thousandth of thickness, and this is like an 083 wall thickness. So I was up in the near 80 amps welding this. 
Now, now that it's past the, the, the weldability and, and easy to weld, what is this material? Because it seems to be very much like a high-grade steel. Uh, and I'm just going to give you tidbits of information that I know, and I'll share it with you. And then each time we do an episode and I get more information, I'll share it with you as well. But uh, this apparently has a low carbon to it, uh, but it has high strength. There's a, a specification out, a company called SFI Foundation. Uh, they put out, they're an independent study, and the specification is called SFI Specification 2.3P. Uh, so I, I grabbed a copy of it, very well written, and it describes the standards and roll cages and things like that. But there's a sheet in here that really interests me. And this sheet really tells you the statics and strengths of the material. Uh, just to give you an example, mechanical properties, the ultimate tensile strength of this is 160,000 pounds per square inch. 116, sorry. Which is great. It's fantastic. Uh, you know, it's it, it's up there above 4130 chromoly. Uh, yield strength, it'll this, it'll start to yield or give way at about 100 ksi or 100,000 pounds per square inch. And this is an, an important feature. How much elongation? How much will it stretch? And it says 13% minimum. Uh, so that that's a pretty good feature. So uh, the wells don't just have high strength; they actually will stretch and come back. And that's needed a lot for the racing industry. So these these properties are fantastic. Now all I have to do is go through and and you know test this uh, totally independently, uh, and, and which I will, and I'm going to share it with you. But uh, this is just one of many that we're going to do. So right now this uh, this material it's got the thumbs up. Weldability is great. So thanks for watching Tig Time. I'm Mr. Tig.